Hello everyone, this is Meghnath. This is the fifth session of this Oracle tutorial series. In this session, we will learn how to create a table and how to remove the table. So I will show you how to do that in Oracle command line as well as SQL developer. Let's get started. So now first thing, I will open SQL command line. So let me click on run SQL command line. And now in SQL command line, so let me increase the font size. Right click on this properties and select font and increase the font size. Click OK. Now, now I will, I need to connect to the user. So I need to connect with the user. So in the session two of this tutorial series, I have created user. So let me connect to the user. So connect uh, to with the user make. So connect MEG and enter the password MEG. So now I got connected. So in this, I will create a table employee. So create table, create table employee and put brackets and write here the column name. First column I need as a EID, employee ID and number I will put here three or it will be a four digit number. I'll put four. So we'll talk about number data types. So number, varchar, var, n varchar, two. So all these data types we will talk later in the further sessions. So for now, I will create a simple table with number with these four digits and I will put here e name, employee name. I'll put here varchar2 and maximum of 20 characters and close the brackets. So this is how we have to create a table in SQL. So create table, table name and brackets, column name, data type, comma, column name, data type and brackets the size maximum size and for the last column you don't have to put comma just close with the brackets and put semicolon and press enter so now you can see that the table got created so this is a table that got created now so now you can see if the table got created or not by simply executing select star from employee so now you will see here there'll be no records so you can see here there are no records selected so it, the table got just created and there are no records so it's showing no records right now we created the table now if I want to remove the table in Oracle so we have drop command so drop table employee so semicolon enter now you can see that the table got dropped so now there'll be no table in database so select star from so if I type select star from employee so now you will see that I'm getting an error, table or view does not exist. So what we learned in SQL command line is create table, table name, and column name, data type, column name, data type, and close it, and put semicolon, that'll create the table. And if you want to see the records in the table, select star from employee, and if you want to drop the table, drop table employee. So now let's do the same thing in SQL developer, and, and now let's see this. Let's go here. And I saved SQL developer here. So Oracle uh, SQL developer. So in case if you uh, want to know what is SQL developer, how I installed it, you can go through the third video, third session of the series. Now let me click on this SQL developer. Now that will open SQL developer software. So it's taking time and Just a second. So it got open. Now what I can do is I need to connect to uh, with the make user. So I have already connected here. I created this make Oracle. So what I'll do is let me delete this and do it once again for you. So right click on this, delete it. So let me delete it. Now what I'll do is click on connections here in the left hand side, right click on this new connection. And I can give some connection name. So let's give here, I'll be using this connection for the further tutorials, uh, uh, for the sessions of this tutorial. So I'll write here, make, uh, make a user or make DB. And username I have given as make and password I have given as make. And I can save this password. Now what I'll do is I will uh, click on save and it gets saved and click on connect. Now you can see here the profile got created. So now I'll click this in the left hand side. I just clicked it. The moment I click it, click here, you can see that a new query window got opened here. Now what I'll do is, now here I'll be writing a query. 
So I'll write the create table query. That's the best thing about this Oracle SQL developer when compared to um, SQL command line. So SQL command line, modifying the query is difficult and once you keep on typing it, you cannot come back here. So I have explained that. So now in SQL developer, I'll type the query. See here now. So create table, create table employee. And same thing I'll do here. So I'll put the column name as EID and uh, number and I'll put three digit number or four digit number, comma. I'll put here E name, E name, var char two and I'll put maximum of 20 characters and I'll close this. So this is how we create a table employee. So let me create this. Select these four lines and click on this execute button. So that will create the table. So you can see here table employee got created and you can verify this. So let me expand this and you can see tables, expand this tables, you can see employee table. So employee table got created and you can see the uh, data type and now. Now what I'll do is, I'll go back to this query where I type this and now I will drop the table. So, so now I'll type here drop table employee command. So now I'll select this line and click on this execute button. Now the table will be dropped. So now you can see here table employee got dropped. So now in this tables, if I filter it, right click on this, if I refresh it, right click on this tables and refresh it, you can see that the table is gone from here. So what we learned in this uh, session is we learned how to create a table in SQL command line and we learned how to drop the table in SQL command line and we also learned the same thing, how to create a simple table with two columns in SQL developer and how to drop the table, right? So hope this video is clear on how to get the ta how to create a table and how to drop a table and in the next section we will understand more about data types very clearly okay so thanks for watching see you in the next session this is Meghnath